Tapasya. Tapasya at <laughs> this Kashmiri camp uh, July 4th a couple of years ago. I thought she was so young and kind of, I thought she was in high school. She just casually dropped that she was 22 and not 21. No, she, she that she's 21 and not 22. Mm -hmm. And, and kind of looked at each other and uh, then I think she 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 tried to make it seem like not a big deal. She's like, oh yeah, I just round up. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> Maybe she told me. No, she told me originally, and then I told Sunny, mm -hmm. and then we told everyone, and then I told my boss at work, <laughs> and everyone high five me. <laughs> she claims yeah, that what on the third day, I I was drunk and I said I love you, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure I was saying. I love the city, <laughs> and she didn't let me finish. But actually, when I fell in love with her, was probably like the second time we hung out in the city itself. Like, so I, we hung out at the Roots concert, right? And then like probably the next time we hung out, That's I knew she was the one. Pretty early on. Whoa. Once I think it was definitely before I knew she was twenty-one. <laughs> and I was hanging out with Sunny, and I was like, I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna flip the, I'm gonna flip the switch and call her the next day and try to set up a, new, a second date. And so I was 110% in like from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It was so romantic. It's like I have been trying to propose to her multiple times. <laughs> and like even very like elaborate things where we would like, like go to like, we, we had gone uh, hang gliding mm -hmm. and we, like I, I took her to this specific place because we tried to find this hidden waterfall and we just got completely lost and covered in like mosquitoes <laughs> like silver pond, like puddles and trying to escape from alligators and stuff. And then, like, so we couldn't find a waterfall. We were just covered in bug bites. So I was looking for just a decent opportunity to actually like, having fun. And so it just happened to be one we were just going out for a jog. It's really nice weather. We were having a nice conversation on the river and I brought it out. I'd actually proposed to her before that. Yeah. And she said no. I tell you, it's like the most nerve wracking thing. Really? Like you can practice it all you want, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's, you are a, as a guy. I have never felt more vulnerable mm -hmm. than at that moment mm -hmm. when you're yeah. proposing. actually proposing. Like I feel, I am so impressed by guys who can actually articulate a full paragraph. <laughs> like, why they, they love this person? Yeah. I just felt like. All I could think of was, what if she says no? You need to break the bangles. So it's Indian tradition that the guy, if he doesn't break all the bangles on the no, wrist, true, is that? wrist, no way. Uh, like you don't abuse them. Not true. You. you wear it the is. no, you, you wear, wear them for bangles. months. No, you wear plastic. Bang the girl wears plastic bangles to bed the first night. And they all have to be broken. But how do you break them? Like, you go like... <laughs> so you basically eat them. Or you That's just hot. smash them. Or you <laughs> against the wall. Mm -hmm. She wants to have two wancho dars or two wanchos. I didn't want to change the last names to mine. I just want... She can have one wancho and I want one dar. And then I'm happy. Like, I don't care about that wancho kid. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a dark kid, and that's it. First one is mine uh. by default because I don't know if there'll be a second one after that. <laughs> so the first one should, in my opinion, should be mine, mm. and then she can have the second and whatever. <laughs> There's one like a Turkish place that we really like, Kestan Kebab, but our new jam is the Spanish restaurant, the Mexican restaurant, Casa Enrique. Mm -hmm. And you know that you're tight friends with Taps if she's actually taking you to Casa Enrique. So, oh. all your best for us if she's taking you. Raise your hand. If she's <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't even talked to me. Yeah, she never it's mentioned it. Mm. It's your spot, maybe. Yeah, maybe yeah. that's your No, it's definitely spot. not. She's like, oh, I'm a, I only take my best friends here. <laughs> <laughs> what is your ideal date night? With her? Smoking hookah, getting high, and and then going to Casa Enrique. 
<laughs> and sing really local. Like, honestly, that's my favorite, mm -hmm. which I think she likes to go to, like, a hip-hop club and... Hip-hop club. No, for date night. She doesn't want to take you to a hip-hop club. <laughs> yeah, she does. So she wants to go out, out. And out, out. Sing. <laughs> uh, wait, let me redo this answer. So one thing is, like, dinner is important to her. So it's fine, definitely fine, a fantastic place for dinner. And then make sure we order half the menu. <laughs> and then, then the second part is definitely uh, try to experience something new, but be really drunk when we're doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> her makeup. Um, what's her? I know it would be her lip balm. It would be her lip balm, and then her eyelash curler. <laughs> I would want to go to Syracuse mm -hmm. to be close to my parents. And then she would want to move. I think she wants to move to France, which I don't get, but I think she wants to move there. How long does it take to Pasio to get ready for A work, B dinner, C going out, 45, D bed? <laughs> 45, hour 10. 45. And then going to bed. 45, 45. Yeah. yeah. It's nuts. <laughs> if you could categorize Pasia in three words, what would it be? What would they be? Spicy thick Latina. <laughs> I'm always chasing her around the apartment. Especially when she's upset at me. I love no space, especially when the other person's. She pees with the door open. <laughs> Interesting. Have you told her that before? Every day. Every day. <laughs> it's so annoying. Definitely her swollen foot. Her eyes. And her shoulders. Because her skin's really soft. Mm -hmm. Like she lathers the emotions, I see. <laughs> also, she's got like a really nice hip to waist ratio. It's really hot. And okay, good, like, sure. athletic yeah. shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. She has really good legs, too. But one thing I would change is that when she gets angry, she doesn't like to be touched. And I, I like to, like, grab a person. Mm -hmm. She's actually really rational, like a very, very rational person. There's some things that she kind of just are, is touchy about, but like what I consider all the serious issues, like family and relationships and friendships, she's really rash, rational about, which I really, really respect. What's the most embarrassing thing that you know has happened to her? She was fat. <laughs> really fat. If you and Tapasio were stranded on a desert island, what would you do? I think she would eat me. <laughs> Cannibalism is totally Ooh, out. Ooh, he's at this bachelor party. Val, do I see you? Her foot. <laughs> swollen foot. <laughs> Guys, I'm so drunk. <laughs> uh, I think it goes like this. Money making!